Hi, today we are gonna be making some zucchini bread with my friend Elizabeth here from Premier Designs Texas Glitz. Oh, I love, Thank I love zucchini so bread. Thank you so much for joining me. This is so wonderful. So this is actually my first time making zucchini bread. Oh, so I love may, zucchini bread. You may have to walk me through this. So I, I'm deciding to make two different ones. Actually, it's zucchini, actually called zucchini muffins because okay. you know I'm making half with the uh, blueberries and half with chocolate chips. So we'll see. Oh, that sounds very yummy. We'll see how this goes. So first off, we're gonna put the, um, the butter in along with the eggs. You get that in there. So Elizabeth has been, how long have you had your jewelry business? I'm in my 17th year wow. with Premier Designs. Yes, ma'am. Wow, wow, I absolutely wow. love it. That's three eggs, by the way. So tell me a little bit more about it. So Premier is in the direct selling industry and we specialize in high fashion jewelry. So the whole goal being, it could be designer inspired, it gives you a fine jewelry look, but it's affordably priced. Yes. And so it, what it does is it allows you to mix and match more easily mm -hmm. because you're not spending a huge amount in order to get a lot of different options for your wardrobe. So, right. which by the way, you look beautiful. And Thank this you. is part Thank of our engraveable collection. I know, wrap bracelets are so popular. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so you have what? Cinnamon, have cinnamon salt, and uh, baking powder. Ba baking powder? Oh, baking, baking soda. soda. Okay, baking soda. All right. do not make that. that yes, uh, <laughs> that, would be, that would be messy. That would be a little bad. <laughs> bad. A bad situation going on. It would mess up my, uh, my zucchini bit, or zucchini, Muffins for sure. Yes. Oh, so that looks so yummy. Stir this up a little more. And I've um, obviously um, you prepped, prepped everything. everything. Yes. So uh, it doesn't just get on my countertop this way. We're gonna put a three, uh, one fourth cup of uh, brown sugar in as well, and two cups of sugar. That is. And let that blend up real nicely. So you were going to tell me the top three uh, closet organizational tips. Okay, so I have, this. well, because <laughs> I I've worked with thousands of women over my years, and a lot of times people tell me, well, I don't know what to do with my jewelry, mm -hmm. or I don't wear jewelry because I don't really know how to wear jewelry. And what we've been finding is that a lot of the reason why that is is because women walk into their closet and they're constantly saying to themselves, <laughs> I have nothing to wear. All right, so now we're going to uh, add in some zucchini. Okay, got it. All right, so tell, tell me a little bit more about this. So what, what I was saying is that what we have found that women need help with what's happening in their closet so I that agree. wearing jewelry makes more sense for yes. them. <clears throat> and so uh, my top three closet tips, and they're super, they're actually pretty simple. Um, yeah. The first is how you organize your clothing from left to right when you look at your, your clothes. So think neutrals. Oh. <clears throat> so all your neutrals, so like creams. Colors, anything solid, yes. that's considered a neutral. Okay. And then um, after that, do standalone pieces. Like what I'm wearing is a standalone yes. piece. Yes. You know, it's it's a print. There's not a whole lot else you're going to... Where did you get that? I got this from Big Star Boutique. It's an online boutique. Oh. My dear friend, Kelly Parker, and her I, husband, Hank. I, you, you I will definitely do that. <laughs> Please do. So after your so neutrals cute. and your solids, then your standalone yeah. pieces, then you are going to have, we, we call them fashion pieces. I want you to okay. think your vests, your dusters, your sweaters, cardigans. Oh, okay, I got those. So I'm like, like vests, I don't have those. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in sweatpants and t-shirt. Yeah. And, and then, then I add this. <laughs> then you add your pants and your dresses. But it's it's so that when you walk into your closet, you have a quick plan. We're not in the flour. Yes. Three cups. I'm saying three cups three of flour. Three cups flour. of flour? Okay. Three cups of flour. Awesome. I'm just going to stick it all in at once. Usually, if you want to be all fancy and cook, um, you can all put it in a, like, a little bit at a time. Right. But right. for the sake of the show and because I want to hear what Elizabeth has to say. I'm going to put it all at once. <laughs> it works. <laughs> so that's your first tip. Your second tip is most people wear the same things all the time. Yes. Okay, because I they go forget what they've worn. Yeah. Or they have their go-tos. And so so they don't get, they utilize maybe 25% of what's yeah. in their closet. So a quick way True. True. to make sure you're utilizing more of your closet is how you orient your hangers. So if you're looking, what? if you're looking at your your hanger, the bar on that all of your clothes hang on, uh -huh. right? A hanger can hang two ways. It can hang with the smooth side facing you, mm -hmm. or you could flip it around where that's to the back of the oh. closet. So do you have an example of yes, that? Yes, I do. Put some walnuts in. 
Yes. A uh, recipe calls for one to three one to three cups of walnuts. I probably have about two cups in here. Because I love, love walnuts. Love walnuts. I love walnuts. Love walnuts. Just that Ooh, one fell out. I'm going to have to eat it. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. So start all of your hangers this full side out. Oh, sweet. After you wear a piece, okay. put it back in your closet, turn the hanger around so that only the tip is facing you. Oh. Make it your goal to try to turn all of your hangers around before you start cycling through your clothes again. And it will show you a couple of wow. things. Wow. That's a show, good tip. Yeah, it will show you. I did not do What that. have you not worn in six months? It's time to get rid of it. Or. It's half my wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't fit. Or it, you'll feel like you're shopping. I need to lose like 20 pounds. <laughs> you'll feel like you're shopping a new outfit from your closet because it yes. will force you to utilize things that you haven't used in a really long time. Yeah. I've been doing this since January and I'm just now starting to cycle back through my clothes and it's been fun. Really? Because you you feel like you're always in something different. Yes. I was just saying my third, my third um, closet tip is how you approach getting ready. Okay. So you have to think. Number one, step one is the basis of what you're wearing. I'm wearing some neutral pants and my top. Step two, you have a some kind of fashion piece. Oh. Like I'm wearing this, I added this vest. Totally changes the That's look of my cute. outfit. Yeah, it is. And then step three would be the accessories that pull it all together. Right. So I chose this because it has the browns and the creams and it kind of pulls all of this all together. look together. So, so cute. It's it's what so allows cute. you, we, you know, we're working on a recipe. Think mm -hmm. about approaching your closet as a recipe. Ooh, One, two, three. It. You're, you've got the basis of what you mm -hmm. have. You have some kind of fashion add-on piece. And, like, you're going to add in some blueberries or, you right. know, or um, chocolate chips. Wow. And then your I, your jewelry is kind of like the icing. You right. Know? It's, the, it's the final step that pulls well, you know, everything together. You know together. how to put it together really well because people like me don't. Oh. Well, and see, I the need thing someone is, like you, you, you can learn it. You, you, can, you can learn it, and yes. and that's the thing. Listen, I was a chemistry teacher when I went before Were I started. Really? Before I started premiere, I looked nothing like this. I assure oh, you. Oh, I've seen Facebook pictures of you. <laughs> I looked totally different. So I, I have definitely transformed over my years in wow. um, premiere. Those look amazing. Yes, they look really good. I I know the kids are meeting these. They, I don't know. Gotta, you have to. Give them vegetables one way or the one other. One way or right? the other. And they will never know these are zucchini muffins for sure. I hope they turn out good. This is my first time making them, so hopefully it's a good recipe. We will we, we will see. Letting you know it looks soon. good. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to um, I'm going to show you how to. Uh, so we're since we're doing half and half on the uh, chocolate chips and the blueberry muff blueberries. I'm just going to stick a few blueberries in here for my daughter. Because she loves ah, blueberries. So just adding them to and the top. And then we're just going to okay. do a few, same thing with chocolate chips. Just stick them all in there. Just shove them down there. Okay. Anyway, awesome. that's what I'm doing. So, um, hey, you want to do, I'll, have, I'll give you this. You can okay. Get chocolate sure. chips. No problem. Okay, got it. Perfect. All right, so um, you were mentioning to me about the perceived weight loss of jewelry. How can, they, how can jewelry make you look thinner? Okay. So you're explaining that like, what? Yeah, yes, yes. Everybody wants to know how to have perceived to weight loss. In a second, by wearing a okay. So some some of the tips that will give you perceived weight loss. Mm -hmm. The first is wearing a pair of earrings that are a quarter size or larger. Ooh. Now the reason why that is is because most women spend the majority of their time on their hair and makeup, mm -hmm. and when you wear a large pair of earrings, what it does is it draws attention upward. And so that, that is perceived weight loss because you want to draw attention upward. Right. The other tip on perceived weight loss would be... So you're taking away. That's correct. Away from your... You're drawing away from... <laughs> well, no. I'm drawing this away from my three shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the other um, tip is accessorize your wrist. The wrist oh. on pretty much everyone is the smallest portion yes. of their body. True. And so creating a great arm party on the wrist Ooh, arm party. helps to draw attention to the smallest portion of your body. Again, perceive. Right. The other, um, and, and so that's a, that's a great way. And not to mention, it helps to create break in the white, from the widest portion of your body. Oh. So if your hands are by your side, having something on your wrist helps to break right. up 
what could be the widest portion of your body. And that also gives you perceived weight loss as I well. Need more wristbands. <laughs> that's where that's where most women are like, give me 15. I need wristbands. Is that why you gave me so many wristbands? No, this is us wrap bracelet. So this is really cute, by the way. I like it this. is fun. I thought you'd like that, which is why I tried yes. to bring things that I thought you might yes, like. This is really cute. Um, and then my really third thing cute. are uh, longer necklaces uh -huh. worn in a V or in a Y okay. also give you perceived weight loss. Mm -hmm. Because they help to draw the eye into the midline of the body. Mm -hmm. And so anytime you create strong vertical lines down the midline of the body, you're taking 10 to 15 pounds perceived off of your appearance. Wow. Um, because, and that's why jackets, vests, things that create strong vertical lines down the midline right. of the body are so popular. They'll always be popular for women mm -hmm. because it helps to give perceived weight loss. Wow. So those are my three... Those are my That's three. A, those are really tips. good tips. Yes, At least they're. Oh gosh, they wow. make a big difference. Yeah, um, and so when women learn to leverage those, mm -hmm. it it can make a huge difference in how confident they feel. Right. I yes, I agree. I agree. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit to. Yes. Yes. Add to. Add to I just there are a couple that I think could uh, use a little bit more. This actually makes quite a few. It does. It does. I mean, I'm surprised. Recipe. I'm like, hmm, I could probably get a couple more muffins out of there if you could. Mm -hmm. The Just thing I like fun. about, I, I had not thought about, the thing I like about this approach, Kristen, is that you can split up your recipe and do multiple things, mm -hmm. you know, so that if you one can. one child likes blueberries and one doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, you can do something different. So I, I, I like that. I'm going to have to use this little tip. Yeah. All That's right. Really good. All right, so now we're gonna put these in 350 for about 10 minutes. And then enjoy. So, yum, yum. All right, so now we are done with our muffins and I'm going to put them on the cooling rack. Awesome, they look wonderful. They do, don't they? And they smell mm. so good. I love, oh my gosh. So what's your favorite dessert to bake? I or thing to bake. Yeah, my, my favorite is my grandmother's pound cake recipe. It is uh, it is probably one of the top family favorites, and I, I like it because it's a great gifting baked item. Yeah. So I can make the little loaves, and so I it's it's an amazing amazing recipe. Yes, that that does sound really good. Those look yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Woo. All right. Well. Um, Liz and I are going to, uh, should we taste test them now? Let's do it. All right, you pick one. Which uh, one I'm you gonna want? do, I need to do a blueberry one. Blueberry? All right, I'm gonna do a blueberry. All right, I'm gonna do chocolate. I'm gonna do a chocolate chip. I'm gonna do chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it smells good. Oh, the walnuts. Oh, it's good. It's very good. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Yep. You that can't is, even taste the zucchini. You cannot taste the zucchini at all. That is so good. Wow. All right. Well, I need this recipe. We're going to, yeah. <laughs> well, you can catch it on my blog. <laughs> I love it. Exactly.com. Well, hey, Linda and I are going to go uh, enjoy the rest of our muffins. So we will uh, catch up with you soon. Have Thanks a great day. Yeah. yeah. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be here. Of course.